it used to be a big thing to have really heavy gauge materials in any kind of automotive or truck application. Of course, with fuel economy standards, uh, always breathing down the neck of the OEMs, they're always looking to go to light weighting. And with light weighting, they're taking a lot of different chemistries in the material, creating things such as multi-phase or dual-phase steel, more difficult to form, gets stronger as it's formed. It's definitely a trend as you can take a lot of material thickness out when you're doing light weighting. And if you're using a multi-phase material, you may be able to get the same strength from a four millimeter thick part out of a two millimeter thick part. You're still gonna use the same amount of tonnage because you're gonna have very thin coil stock going through there, maybe one or two millimeters. But as that forms, that gets tougher and tougher and stronger. And that's one way to get the weight off of vehicles and that they improve the fuel economy. Our feed lines can handle it. We're very familiar with it. It even comes down to tool design. You can't just have really low grade cut corner like tooling. You gotta have big, tough automotive grade tooling. You gotta be able to know when to use restrikes, whether it's a wedge restrike or a cam restrike. You gotta know when to pierce holes if you pierce them after forming or before forming. There's a lot that goes into the tooling side that we do and that we work with our customers with to make sure that we have repeatable parts when it comes to PPAP. And you should be working with us because we know how to make this material flow and produce good parts repeatably. Because it takes big, strong machines to make big, strong stuff. And that's Ultratech.